Let's look at the response of some digital ballasts. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Michael Juwani and Ms. Chelsea Till of Lutron for the ecosystem hardware that we're going to use. And uh, as for the Lume Energy stuff that's strapped to the board, that was supplied by a Mr. Michael Block, so if I'm not mistaken. So thank you very much, folks. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, check the uh, dimming levels we get on our little uh, LED dimming module. I have scooched the light meter head around under there until I've gotten 1,000 on it. And we'll start from there. 1,000 foot candles is 100%. And now we have dropped to 78.6, so that or 788, so that would be about 78, 79%. Now, because we're not under ideal circumstances here and you won't be in the field, you might need to take a few readings and average them out. And that's what we're going to do here. And uh, I'll show you how to average light meter readings in another video. Okay, now we have a advanced ROVR digital ballast. Um, no dally marking that I'm spotting right off the bat, but here we go. It's working just fine. So we'll collect some numbers. It's got a bit of a fade delay to it, but it's uh, functioning just fine. And the slider works fine. So I'll get some numbers and we'll take a look at it. Now we're going to use the fluorescent uh, ballast that actually came with this rig because this is a sort of a proprietary deal but not really. Uh, despite the fact that the ballast isn't stamped with a dally mark, uh, the manufacturer's literature says it responds to dally. So I have the luxury of simply plugging it in to this interconnection box and now I should get my dimming. There's about a four second delay built into the ballast but let's take it around and let's take some readings and see where we're at. Four second delay built into the thing so I'm down to about a 560 and now about a 4, 391 and about a 198 we'll call it and how does this ballast respond to losing its dally bus if I unplug it? Goes to full power. That's programmed into the ballast and in most of these things you can change that. I plug the dally ballast back in. It doesn't do anything and the reason for this is a command has not been issued. In a standard short address dally system, there's only a signal on this line telling the ballast what to do when a command is issued. And so, reconnecting the dally bus but not reissuing a command doesn't do anything. The ballast stays at its pre-programmed, hey, I've lost my dally bus level. Now what we have here is essentially the same thing we had on the uh, bench top. It's a Loom Energy ballast. Uh, this one takes T5s and we have a control switch on the wall. And so we have our uh, dally supply this time being produced by the ballast. Uh, this is kind of unique. It's a Loom Energy full ham uh, lamp and I'm just going to take readings off of it. Uh, in the same manner because this is going to spit out the same commands as the one on our test set and then we'll average them out and look at them. Finally, let's take a look at an Ecosystem H-Series ballast. This one takes uh, 25 watt uh, uh, two or four foot lamps only and there's nothing dally about it on the label and probably nothing dally about it in the product literature. Now the first thing I needed to do before I connected was make sure that it's safe to connect to my uh, 
digital bus leads and the way I do that is I take a voltmeter and I check for DC if I've got between 12 and 20 on here I know it's already got a bus supply out in the system somewhere but I make that extra check that field technicians need to make because you always treat any wires until you've tested them as if they've got high voltage on them and if you're having a particularly bad day you might find high voltage on them and that explains that funny smell so you want to check these for high voltage AC and also check each leg to ground to make sure it's safe to connect to them now after making sure it's safe to connect to this ecosystem ballast um, I'm powering it off the bus supply on the test set and the question is does it respond to standard short address DALI signals and I am pretty sure you can see probably even on the camera that it certainly does including uh, the continuous dimming command and so there you have it let's get a light meter out and take some readings oh does it respond to losing its DALI bus in a typical fashion let's look at that yes it does now in real life uh, this ballast or LED driver if that's the case would be connected to a Lutron power pack known as a tri pack uh, for the Lutron ecosystem or Vive system so we've got a full output of 763 and our 70 per 75 percent dimming allegedly is 613 foot candles and now I've got 416 foot candles and now I've got uh, 170 foot candles and I'll take a few readings and average them and then we will crunch the numbers